Hey everybody, this is Dave Walsh, and today we're going to do something a little bit different with the theatrical campaign. Um, I still will post my winning playthrough, but in this case, I'm going to take you a little bit behind the scenes. Um, I, don't, I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier, um, but it just came to me that maybe I should post a full playthrough of what it looks like uh, when I... Um, just play something blind or nearly blind. I haven't played this scenario in probably a year and I only played it once. <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's been a long time. Like I said, I've been, like I said, throughout the whole thing, I've been playing live with a friend of mine and we were able to get together like one time, like a year and three months ago. <laughs> and we m made it to the, to the black gate opens and then subsequently Mount doom, um, without, and, and I knew what happens because, you know, as being where I am, I have to know kind of all these scenarios, but the details are, are, um, beyond me. I know that, you know, there's the dire keyword and this is Aragorn. And I know the, the lore behind this where, you know, they're providing a diversion for, so that Frodo can put the ring in Mount Doom and, you know, however many rounds I distract, uh, here's how many rounds I will be able to throw the ring into Mount Doom. Like I know all that stuff going into there. Um, but I'm not sure how the game does that or, you know, I've, <laughs> definitely forgotten. Um, so, um, it'll be interesting to see how this works, but I thought it was also interesting for you guys to see how I kind of muddle through the first time I play these things. And normally I would play the scenario at least three or four times just to get all the triggers down. Um, kind of know what cards do what and how they interact with, with my deck. So, um, so surprise, you get to see what it's like when I play it um, relatively blind. So um, we'll load the scenario here. Uh, Dragon cards came out um, while I was uh, recording this, but I wanted the consistent background and all that stuff to make sure that the, that the whole thing was um, recorded consistently. So I'm still in Octagon, but after I finish this, I think I'm going to play in Dragon Cards. I've played some in Dragon Cards, but I've been mainly doing this in my free time. So it's been a lot of Octagon. So this is, of course, is an Aragorn quest, which I knew. And we had the Black Eight, and we have the Mouth of Sauron, I guess. And I'll go into that as a little bit later, I guess. So um, I'll load my player deck. It's just the Bond of Saga ship here. So this comes out. I don't have to worry about Gandalf's delay in this case. Okay, so I'll do this. I don't have anything captured or anything. That's good. Space these guys equally. They need to be a little closer together. Okay, this. And then Sam has to have a lot of space because he's got a lot of attachments. Then Aragorn. Do this and why here? <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna load the Aragorn Boon deck here. Oh, uh, there it is, right there. Okay, now there's a couple of things that are not in there or that are in there that I may have to let's see. So, this goes to the victory display. I earned this several games ago, but let's say old bogey stories. This is going to go in my deck. This goes on to Sam. So normally I would line all these up and get them ready to play. This goes in my deck. This goes in my deck. Overcome by grief goes up in the staging area. Uh, this goes into the encounter deck. This goes on Sam. And that's that. Um, I have to create some cards. Let's see. We have the Esquire of so Esquire of Rohan. Esquire of Rohan is the attacky one. That one goes on Mary. Uh, I think I put them below here to make it so that it's all lined up. And then Esquire. Uh, S. 
Esquire. It helps if I spell it right. Esquire of Gondor. This is the one that actually can get used in my deck here. That goes on to Falco. And then for some reason, I never. Uh, I never put the Wraith on Wings in that, so... Okay, so there's a Wraith on Wings. I think. Okay. Um, I do get a two-threat raise. Let's see what my hand looks like. Um, <laughs> well, I guess I'll take it because I see the Red Book of Westmarch. I forget if I get any, like, free turns or anything like this. I, I just don't know. So I just, so when I play, I just usually just play the hand that I'm given just to see what, what's going on. Okay, so campaign card, it says, set up the Black Gate and the Mouth of Star and set Gwaihir side out of play. Shuffle the deck. Okay, let's see. Each player may change his hero's controls. That's fine. The first player may raise his threat by one. Search for Zek to Andrew and add it to his hand. Remove all of those burden icons. Okay. I don't see the octopusy looking thing. That's <laughs> that's uh, the Wraith on Wings icon. So he stays out. So he's going to go up into the uh, encounter deck. Up into the, the staging area, I guess. So no threat, and then this guy has four threat. Oh, is he immune to player card effects? Yeah. Okay, but the non-school is not, so I at least have a target for Bilbo right away. Um, what am I doing? Anduril. I'm going to raise my threat by one for Anduril. Now, in this case, I know that uh, the timer in this game is threat, uh, so you thread out pretty care. You have to be careful threading out. Okay, but we'll... Uh, Put the Palantir and the Sting into play here. Okay, I'll shuffle. And let's see. So that's it. The first player may raise each player's set. Okay. So here we are, trysting at the Black Gate with the Mouth of Sauron. Okay. And then it says, ooh. Dire. The dire keyword I know means that my threat elimination level is 99. In player order, each player places the top card of his deck face up in front of them until their total of four cards. Um, place the top four cards of the encounter deck face up, starting with the highest cost player card each. I forgot about this. Starting with the highest cost player card, pair each player card with the highest threat encounter card remaining until there are four pairs. For each pair, the first player must choose either discard both cards in that pair or reveal the encounter card and play the player card. Um, okay, so let's see. So I put four cards face up. So I'll do it like this. One, two, three, four okay and then i'm going to take each of these guys and then i have to uh let me put i guess i'll put them over here for the playthrough and then i'll do one two three oh <laughs> i do this every so often i forgot to shuffle the deck i can tell because i'm getting all the same cards okay so let me shuffle the encounter deck <laughs> things you will remember when you get to the, your actual really good playthrough. Okay, so let's see here. One, two, three, four. Okay. So then how do you pair them off? You say each uh, pair each player card with the highest threat encounter card remaining until there are f uh, highest cost player card. So I got a two and three ones. <laughs> okay, so the highest threat cost is this so this gets paired with him and then uh let's see i'll probably what's the it says each player deals one damage to a questing character he controls so i'm actually going to put that onto the onto 
um, the dagger of westerness because I'll be able to get a free dagger of westerness until the end of the phase each damaged character gets minus one willpower and cannot be healed so I, th I think that's going to be okay <laughs> okay so either discard both cards in that pair or reveal the encounter card to play the card at no cost so what does this thing do can i have attachments this is a gorgoroth hill troll um after gorgoroth hill troll attacks and destroys a character defending player um, discards a random card from his hand and raises threat by that card's printed cost um you know what i don't love so basically i'm not going to play any of these guys Okay, and then I'll put this here. I think that's how I'll do it in my main playthrough. And then I will take this, and I'm going to put it onto, um, onto Aragorn. So that's how that's going to work. Um, so that way Aragorn can attack back for six um, for the most part. Okay, and there's that. <laughs> I don't know what I do from here. I assume <laughs> I have to um, move on. It doesn't say once you're done. Um, because I guess once I'm done, it's done. Okay. Unless there's a trigger on this guy that says no. Okay, so I guess we go to... Quest stage two. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck for a different orc, troll, or Nazgul enemy and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle Gwai here into the encounter tech. Okay, so I guess that that was us um, negotiating with the mouth of Sauron. That's, I guess, what was, what was happening. Okay, and then uh, when revealed, so I'm going to look for an orc, a troll, or a Nazgul enemy. This is going to take a little bit because I don't know... <laughs> I'll probably pick an orc, but does it get revealed or does it? Well, let's look at all of them. Let's figure this out. <laughs> at one point, I thought that all the Nazgul were killed in the Battle of the Pelennor Fields, but that may not be the case. I just want a wimpy dude here to begin with. I can attack back for six, so is there something... Oh, there's the Orc of Mordor. <laughs> the Mork of Orc. Oh, that was such a silly thing I said. Um, that's seven. Uh, that's an Easterling. I can't do that. There's a Nazgul. Because um, I can attack back for six is what I can do. So if I could defend... Aragorn's defending for three. Let's see. It's, that orc of Mordor is staring at me because he's got when revealed that's peril in archery one um, I mean I could kill these archery guys but my problem with that is that I think I want to take a surge out of the encounter deck. I think that's a smart move. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. Okay. So this comes out. Uh, shuffle Gwai here into the encounter deck. You don't want Gwai here to come out at a bad place, I guess. You don't want to have to discard Gwai here at the beginning. Okay, I'm going to have to look into the um, Mouth of Sauron. That was a extended version thing that was cut out. So, Okay, so flip. What does it say? Dire. During the staging step, the first player does not reveal an encounter card as normal. Instead, he reveals one encounter card for each resource on the Black Gate. Okay, after the player's quest unsuccessfully... <laughs> Okay, so this stage cannot be defeated. So here we go. So we're just trying to quest 
successfully um, and we discard the active location if we quest unsuccessfully okay so I don't know let's see what we get going on here I guess <laughs> oh and this guy is already just gonna engage me but that's okay uh, what's Aragorn's special thing in this game spend one resource pool to ready him Okay, he's a Dunedain Gondor noble warrior. He's like everything. It's cool because that's this is showing him coming into his own as the king of Gondor now and stuff like that. So I'm happy about all that. Gondor, if he quests, because I think that, oh, wait, does he not exhaust a quest? Uh, he will exhaust a quest now, but now that's a Gondor hero to quest with. I don't have it readying in my hand at all. So it's just going to be a little fight for our lives, I guess. Yay. Yay me. <laughs> okay. Okay. When do you do this? At the beginning of the quest phase. Okay. And raise threat by one. Okay. Control. And new round. Oh, Shire Folk. Look at that. Okay. I'll take that and lower my threat by five. This is how I know which cards that I need to make things work out. Um, I would normally want to put out the Hobbit Cloak, but I think I'm going to need the Red Book of Westmarch <laughs> sooner than later. So I'm just going to, like, not not do anything. Oh, wait. Oh, I did. I was like, wait, did I draw a card? Okay, so that's pretty good i do have gandalf's in my hand gandalf's in my deck which allow me to lower my th threat and i have another shire folk so let's see what happens okay oh and i do have mary so that's i don't know hopefully gonna help okay i don't have to worry about this guy so I'm going to, so this is the beginning of the quest phase. Okay, so I guess this gets a resource. This guy gets a resource. Even despite me wanting to not cover up the artwork during my thing, it's important for me to do that here. Okay, and then I will, I'll keep Mary up to be able to lower my thread a little bit more, and I'll quest for two, three, six, this is not, this is up here. Okay, six, and there's five in the, so this is six. Okay, um, do I want to quest with, oh, I can quest with him. Okay, I will quest with him for another three. Now, it's a little strange <laughs> because I can't put progress here, but I don't, I want to not raise my thread as much as possible here in the first couple of things. So I'm not sure what I'm going to get. I, I have no idea. So, okay, so we will just quest for nine. So, f encounter card is a. When revealed, choose a questing character you control and remove it from the quest. Okay, well, that's not horrible. I will pick uh, Falco. Falco gets removed from the quest, so I'm down two. So I was able to quest successfully, so that's good. And I was removed, and then I was able to do this. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> so that's, I get to lower my threat by another one. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to engage this guy. And when I engage, it says exhaust a character you control. I don't have anybody ready. So now combat. Uh, let's see. Do I have archery? I do have zero archery. Okay, that's good. So do this. I'm now going to spend the one to ready Aragorn, and I will, uh, oh, <laughs> you know what, he would, 
ready and then I would have to exhaust it. That's what it would have to happen. Okay, remember that for the playthrough. Okay, and so now Aragorn's going to uh, exhaust for defend for three. No shadow. And I get rid of that Hellhawk. And then I'm going to exhaust Anduril and attack back this guy for f f six. And I'm going to kill this guy. Okay. That's not horrible. Okay. Control. And is there like anything at the end of the turn? No. Okay. So, oh, I get the Palantir. Oh, I have been. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this is the time for the Palantir, but. I think so. Okay, so I'm going to attach this to Happy Face Aragorn here. Okay, and I'm going to put this, I'm going to put uh, Quick Beam into play. I'm going to put the Honor Guard into play. And now I can, at least I have some more questing to begin with. Uh, so that feels okay. Okay. So now, uh, I guess I usually do this to begin with, but uh, he doesn't get a... I think I'm okay right now. So I think... <laughs> I think that I have to use this this time, right? The Palantir Vorthank, because, you know, at some point I'm going to have s five, six, seven encounter cards coming out, and I don't want to, <laughs> like, I just, I don't want that many. Okay, so what does it say? It says Exhaust Aragorn um, and Palantir Vorthank. Discard the top card of the encounter deck. Okay, so I will do that. Ooh, oh, so then what happens? Um, if Aragorn's willpower is greater than discard a card, you may add the Palantir of the Orthanc um, to the victory display and remove it from the campaign pool to choose a player. That player reveals one fear. Okay, so I, I failed that. So Aragorn is definitely um, exhausted. So, um, I'll add some resources. Bilbo's going to target the Wraith on Wings. And I get to reveal two cards. So I'll quest for two, three, six. I guess six. <laughs> okay. And in the staging area is four, five. Okay. So and I'm revealing two encounter cards. That's one that's <laughs> either search the encounter deck, discard pile of victories, play for a non-school enemy and add it to the staging area, or attach Hellhawk to a non-school enemy in play. Hmm. I'm going to go find a non-school. Um, making... I don't know. I don't know what the option is. It doesn't lower hit the engagement cost. What are the non-school looking like? I think they're four or five or something. Let's say where... Is this non-school? Yes. Can I have after Nazgul Mordor attacks either raise your threat by four or return the Nazgul of Mordor to the staging area? I don't know. It's probably dumb for me to do that, but I'll do that. So this is number one. So that's four. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then the next card is, hey, a Snaga. So I'll lower my threat by two. 
Okay. And then raise my threat by another two. Okay, so my threat total goes up to 28. Okay. And there's nothing to travel, no locations. That's a bummer, right? Doesn't say if you the discard the active location. Okay. Um, so far, so good with the amount of threat. Oh, I did quest successfully twice. Man, I always forget those triggers. So that's two. This wraith on wings. <laughs> I need to get my defense out soon. Um, which I will be able to here. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to, I'm going to do this and I will, um, deal two damage to a character I control. Okay. So that's going to be one, two. <laughs> Okay, and now I have to deal archery too, so that'll be one, two, like that. And then I will spend the one to ready Aragorn. And let's see. Oh, it also ready Sam. Look at that, Sam! <laughs> okay. And now we will... Uh, Defend with Aragorn. No shadow. The waste of dark light. Okay. Okay, so that's four. I will prevent what the one damage to uh, Aragorn. Aragorn's defending for three, and then I will attack back for six and kill the archer. Okay. Here we go, next round. <laughs> okay, I guess the thing to do is to put this out, hard cast it. I don't want to do it, but I will. And then I will spend three to bring out the Red Book of Westmarch. Okay, now, in theory, Say, in theory, I well, I don't know. Right now, I mean, I'm going to get three cards this next time around, so <laughs> it's just going to be how much is in there. It'll be three, so I get four, five, nine. Nine. So I'm going to get three cards. It's going to be bad news. So how much are we questing for? Three, five, nine already. Let's see, here's the thing. I'm just going to... I'm not sure. The Palantir would have been good during like some of the earlier quests, but I'm just not sure it's going to work this time around. So there's another three so that's 12 15 15 is not too bad okay so we do one okay doomed one surge so we get a, another orc for two so i will use pippin to lower my threat by that okay that's one second card is one damage to a questing character I control. So, um, who's questing? You know who's questing? The Curious Brandy Buck. And then number, oh, that's two more threat. And then number three. Oh, okay. Well, it's a lot of enemies. <laughs> I'm getting a ton of enemies. And I did quest successfully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I have no locations, and this is where I wish it was the Kirithongol where 
different enemies would do different things. Okay. So <laughs> what am I going to engage here? So how much archery do I have? I have three archery, I guess. Okay, I did quest successfully, so this gets a, a thing. I have three archery. What am I going to... Who knows? Okay. Um, I can't group attack. That's the problem. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to... Um, engage this guy. And when I do, I do two damage to something. So I will do one. I'll do two damage to the honor guard. And then, uh, let's see. I have to do three archery damage. So we'll do one, two, three, like that. And deal this guy a shadow card, ready Aragorn. And let's see. Uh, I'll defend with Aragorn. No shadow. I keep getting, <laughs> keep getting locations as this. Okay. So, and then I can, uh, so Aragorn's defending for three, this guy four, so I will exhaust to not take any more damage on Aragorn, exhaust Anduril, and I'm still attacking for six, so that gets rid of this Snaga. Okay. See, this is the thing. When you go in cold, like, I don't know if I'm doing good or not good. Like, I feel like this could blow up a whole bunch right now, so um, I don't know. I don't know if I thread out or if I lose my heroes. I'm just not. Um, I think I just have to. The stage cannot be each round the players survive. So it's just a matter of surviving more and more rounds. And then what does it say? Oh, plus one. This is what I'm doing. The black gate. I haven't been doing the plus one threat for each. So let's see. I would have had three threat. I would have, so I would have raised my threat by two, and then I would have raised my threat by another two from the previous one. I don't engage. Okay, so that's a trigger I forgot. Okay. And the black gate raises each player's threat by one per round um, at the beginning of the quest phase. So looks like I would be at 35. So I probably would have had to engage these guys, but I can't, <laughs> I mean, I can't go back in time right now. Um, I may not have been, have, have to engage those guys. Um, cause I, here, what I'll do is I'll do this. I will, uh, to do, to prevent myself, I will increase my my um my willpower by two so that would have made me quest neutral the last one uh so okay so at least i think i made it pretty reasonable but now these guys are going to come out this time around and that's going to be horrible okay well let's do this <laughs> that's i like peace and thought okay so i will put that out Oh, you know what? I didn't quest successfully. See, this is why I go through and play this multiple times. I didn't quest successfully. Um, I wouldn't have quested successfully there, and I know that the one time I didn't quest successfully. So, okay. <laughs> okay. So I think at least I have a defense here. Okay. So, okay, resource resource I will quest three five nine uh, I wish I had the banner of Ellen deal okay nine uh, 
And then that's 12, 15, 15. And what do we have in the staging area? Four, eight, nine, 13, 14, 15, 16. Plus I raised my throat by one. Okay. <laughs> Okie doke, here comes four cards. One, hey, location. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> two, doomed one. Each player must choose to either raise your threat by one for each character you control or discard the highest cost ally I control. Um, wait, two, two, two. Um, is, what is it, doomed one? Okay. Well, uh, I would lose three, uh, but then I would lose three attack, and I would lose, I don't know, maybe the honor guard has served his uh, thing. What does it say? Must choose, raise your threat by one for each character you control, so I'd have to raise it by eight. I'm not raising it by eight, so the honor guard has served his purpose. Okay, so that's two, three... I get an Uruk soldier. So I will use this guy to lower my threat by one, two, three. Okay, so there's an Uruk soldier and then card number four. <laughs> okay, doomed one and discard a questing, uh, discard a card, uh, the highest cost ally. So that's gonna be this guy. So I lose three okay <laughs> okay so I now have a threat of 46 and that's a bummer okay so this goes and then the Moranin after while Moranin becomes the active location return each engaged enemy uh to the staging area. Okay, control A. And now, let's see. Who engages? Anything less than, uh, let's see, this guy engages. So I ready Sam. Sam's defending for, well, Sam doesn't ready. <laughs> so that's 38, 34, 34. What's this guy? 54. It doesn't matter. Okay. So three people to do something with. This is going to get U-G-L-Y. <laughs> okay. I can't ready... Sam, I think that I should not have brought out a Nazgul. I think it would have been better to um, make this Nazgul immune to player card effects. And then, I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this guy comes out too. Okay. So now we are really in a world of hurt because I'm going to lose all my heroes. Well, I'm not going to lose all my heroes, I don't think. Maybe I will. So note to self, you have about four rounds before you can... Uh, before you're stuck here. Okay. I'm definitely going to be able to eke out a fifth round, I, I hope. Okay, so I can't ready Sam unless I engage something with a higher than my threat. Hmm. What if I do engage this guy? Now I have five. Uh, let's see. One. 
Then I can ready and attack back and kill something. And then I can undefended, undefended, undefended. So readying is key. I'm gonna load that into my. <laughs> I'm gonna load that into my thing. So I think I'm gonna only get through five rounds. But that readies Sam at least. Okay. So Sam is defending for five at least, right? He's defending this guy for five. Everybody else he's defending for three, which isn't horrible. Okay, well, let's deal with shadow, shadow cards. Okay, first thing, we chump the Nazgul for Nazgul's attacking for six. Discard a non-objective attachment I control. Okay, that's old bogey stories. Okay, so the non-school's done. That's good. Okay, now the Uruk soldier. I'm going to ready Aragorn, because then I can at least see what's going on here. Wow, this escalated super quickly. I was hoping to get... I was feeling pretty confident. I think the the big move that I did I shouldn't have done was bring out the the Nazgul of Mordor. <sighs> okay. Um. um. Quick beam dies, so that means that Overcome by Grief comes out. Okay, I do have to take archery somewhere along the way, so I think I will take the archery onto. I would have put it on Quick Beam. Quick Beam only had one damage, so it's fine. Okay, so you can kind of tell when it's your last round here. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Can I defend for four? I can't defend these guys for four each because it's... I'm trying to figure out the artwork on that. What is going on? I'm trying to figure out, like, I guess that's a helmet and that's kind of a humanoid-looking thing. Man, the Warrior of Rune. That's like a Dory. <laughs> like a, the new Dory. Um, anyways. Well, I guess the only thing I can really do is... Let's see. I'll defend one of these guys... I'm still defending for three with Sam, and I will get rid of the shadow card, and Sam takes the damage. Okay, so that's two. Okay, and then Aragorn's defending for three here. So I would love to just get rid of one of these guys. That's seven. He's attacking, he only has five. So I guess I will uh, defend this guy um, for three. Oh, there's a shadow. Attacking is plus one. Okay, well, it's fine. I'm going to lose anyways. Okay, and then Aragorn will attack back and kill this Easterling Bowman. Okay, now I have two undefended attacks that I have to take. Okay. Oh, the, uh, did I? I think I raised my throat by two. I don't think it matters right now, but okay. So I will. I will get attacked here. It says after this attack, attacking enemy engages the next player. There is no next player. Okay, so I will. Um, 
I think I'll get rid of Bilbo. Uh, no, I'm going to get rid of Mary. One, two, three. Okay. And now the next one here is... Well, it's going to be Bilbo anyways. No shadow. Bilbo goes goodbye. Okay. <laughs> so, refresh. Do I... I guess I exhaust two <laughs> allies. I'll play this. And I will do one. Oops. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I do get a Gandalf. I'm never going to be able to play that Gandalf. Okay. Control N for next round. Note to self, don't be afraid to fail the quest. That's really what it boils down to. By, like, to keep your guys ready. That's, okay, so I will... I'll put that guy out. Why not? <laughs> okay. I can't defend anything, so... Um... I don't have a target for Thorngill. I don't have a resource match for this guy. I don't have a resource match for this guy. And I don't have five, um, five resources to bring out Gandalf. Okay. So I'm just going to quest for nothing. I'm questing for zero. And in the staging area is four, eight, Okay. So that's eight. So there is another, I get another resource here. So that's good. Five and five. I feel like if I got, if I had locations, it would have been a little easier to deal with. I don't know. Okay. So this was card number one and says, choose a character you control and remove it from the quest. I am not questing with anybody. So ha ha ha. Okay. So that's one. Oh, I have to raise my threat by one for the black gate, right? The black gate. Raise each player's threat by one. Okay. So there's one, two, three. Uh, each player deals one damage to a questing character he controls. Each damage character gets my okay, so I don't have, um, I don't have anything like that. Uh, okay, uh, that was three, four, five. What's this? Uh oh, this doesn't look good. Rage filled him. When revealed, the mouth of Sarn makes an immediate attack against you. If this attack destroys a character, raise your throat by four. Okay, well, Mouth of Sauron, come down and attack me. <laughs> um, he's attacking for six. Okay, I will chump block with the Warden of Healing. <laughs> okay, oh. attack deals no damage. Yay. Thanks. The Warden of Healing does its thing. I would love to have had Gwai here in play. The first player must choose either take control of Gwai here or spend one resource and discard Gwai here to discard a non-unique enemy in the staging area. A non-unique. So can you do that more than once? I don't think so. You can't spend multiples. Okay. Well, let's clean up the staging area. So there's another X. X is the number of characters controlled by the player with the most characters. I controlled four. So, and then uh, three more. Okay, so that's 16. So I raised my threat by 16, so I'm at 64. Okay, this guy. Oh, he still doesn't come down. Whee! <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so I did quest unsuccessfully, so I get rid of this. And now what? Uh, the number of characters controlled. What's this? It says, while well, dark is that the printed text box of each ally is blank. Okay, well, guess what? I don't have any allies anyway. Okay, now what can we do? Um, another warrior of rune comes down and attacks. I just feel like I got shafted with the a n number of enemies I got. Okay, so let's lose this game. Okay, I think I hit all the... Uh, I think I got most of the triggers. I mean, that's... That's all right. I don't think that there's anything that I necessarily did wrong. So... Um, I guess the only other thing I could do is I could engage the Nazgul. I think that what I did wrong was pick the Nazgul. Okay. Maybe there's a crazy shadow card, but probably not. Okay, so all these shadow cards. Uh, let's see. <laughs> well, Wraith on Wings makes an attack. No shadow, six damage. Goodbye, Falco. Okay. And now, Aragorn will defend. He's defending for three. So he can defend this guy, I guess. It says, exhaust a character I control. I don't have anybody uh, anybody ready. So, um, so, and then he will attack back here for f five. So that does two damage. <laughs> I know, I know that I'm already going to lose, so, um, and then I do a damage to Aragorn. Oops. Okay. And then I will spend the one to ready Aragorn. It's not going to matter because no matter what. So I will, I will take this undefended. It says attacking it gets plus one, plus two. So that's Sam done. And then I can take this guy and defend this guy, I guess, with Aragorn. It says, choose a non-unique enemy in the staging area, engage it, and deal a shadow card. <laughs> okay. And that kills Aragorn, so I die. Well... That's the first time I've played this on Octagon, and only like the second or third time that I've ever played like this scenario. So now that I know what I'm looking for, I can, you know, I can play. And I think that if, like, the first time out, like seven rounds, like I, I got five rounds without really trying. So, you know, I can hone. Maybe I can get to seven rounds if I get a good break. Maybe eight. And hopefully if I can get to eight rounds, that's enough to be able, that's enough rounds for me to be able to get the ring into Mount Doom. But I don't know, Mount Doom is a challenging quest in and of itself. So, um, and I haven't cracked that one either. So, <laughs> um, we'll, uh, we'll see when I say cracked, I mean, I haven't opened it or I mean, I played it once with my friend, but I don't know what, you know, what it has in store. So, okay, well, there it is. That's my first playthrough, my rough playthrough of um, unedited <laughs> of the Black Gate Opens. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great day.